Hey guys, Chris with Clark Fork Leather here. Thought I'd try something different to show you this new holster. Such a beautiful day out, I just couldn't uh, sit in the shop, so I took the dog for a walk and thought I'd show you this new holster. <laughs> Before I do though, uh, I'll give you a panorama. See what I'm looking at here. This is Southwest Montana in mid-March. There's my dog playing. So, you probably noticed I've got a uh, big revolver on me today. Probably no chance of running into any grizzlies out here, but just thought I'd show you guys the uh, 629 and the holster I've got for it. This is what I'm going to be calling the molded chest holster from Clark Fork Leather. And um, you'll notice it's using vegetan leather and it's molded in. I had to do that for the revolvers and it's certainly an option. I can do it for the, for the semi-autos if you want a, a molded holster as well. Um, but yeah, let me get into it. This is um, tan in color for a 629 Smith & Wesson. And um, it has a thumb brake right underneath uh, the trigger guard. And this allows for easy draw. But yet when it's snapped, gun won't come out and it's it's at a good angle you notice it sits away from my chest here so I can grab a hold of that without getting a shirt or whatever I have back here it fits really snug to your body though you could move around it doesn't the gun doesn't shake at all I'll show you the back of it here it's very adjustable you can adjust where this rides here you can adjust the length of this strap if you want to bring it down lower if you want to bring it up higher and of course you could adjust this this waistband here there's a fast x buckle right here for easy removal and then it goes on just as easy it snugs in here there's also uh, a little keeper my wife made for these um, just some elastic that keeps the uh, extra cord so it's not flapping around all over the place. But yeah, um, I'm really liking this. I tried several different models and different techniques, but in the end I, I just came back to kind of a pancake design, but instead of belt slots, it's got these little wings that come off at the right angles here, and then it's attached here to the, to the harness. And uh, I'll give you some pictures to give you a close-up view of this, but very nice. Ride's very comfortable. I walked a, a mile and a half in here, and uh, pretty comfortable. Got my backpack on. I'll show you what that looks like when you're wearing a backpack. A couple of people asked me, can you wear this with a backpack? The answer is yes, it is. That's what it's designed for. Keep it out of the way. there so it's not interfering underneath a backpack I snap this this goes this goes kind of underneath the base down here um, if you've got the, uh, the waist strap and then the sternum strap goes here so absolutely no interference keeps your gun really close and handy if you're hiking in bear country or hunting or um, whatever you're doing also be very good if you're uh, on an ATV or motorcycle or four-wheel drive vehicle. It's, it's nice to have it really close and handy but not get in the way. You know this is really just the perfect spot to draw from and uh, this also this thumb strap I could do it over the hammer. I know some guns some revolvers you really don't want to put the a thumb strap over the hammer um, but for most of them they're fine. Um, I could do it either way. So if you know you want over the hammer, I could do a thumb break there. But for this one, I chose to have this behind the trigger guard because you can't get it out. 
but yet when you go to draw this gun it's just right there it's it's pretty much draw the gun and it comes off on its own it's it's not one step and then draw it's just very quick another thing you can adjust I didn't really talk about it much but these um, these rotate here so if you want to get this to where it's um, it's more of an angle like this or more of an angle like this um, just put it there and then tighten it up in that spot another thing you could do I know some people want it farther over to the right if you take this shoulder strap and put it over this shoulder and you can adjust that in the back where that goes um, it'll fit over this right hand shoulder and it'll sit closer to your right hand side for a right hand draw so yeah um, this I can do in any color this is tan but I can do it in brown or black if you know you want a brown or black one let me know I don't have speed loader or mag pouches yet I'm working on it but uh, it's just been a lot of work getting this thing done uh, where I'm happy with it I've been through several revisions of it but I'm pretty happy with it now um, it's got the detail and it uh, really holds its shape this is 9 or 10 ounce uh, veg tan leather so it's it's pretty rigid and it, it really holds that shape so when you go to, to put this weapon back in it doesn't uh, this doesn't collapse it just slides right back in another thing I should show you here while I got it I've got um, little plastic uh, protectors on the back here so that you don't have a metal snap up against your gun and I've got the little uh, stiffener metal stiffener for your thumb brake so that um, you're not, you don't just wear that out that uh, leather doesn't just bend so yeah let me know if you have any questions um, you can email me Chris at ClarkForkLeather.com um, this is available on our website for many different guns so check that out ClarkForkLeather.com let me know if you have any questions have a good day